welcome back to this Rift Let's Play. You're with Sambo, a Seraphis, and joining me, oh my god, is Tallahassee in his big white undies. He's half naked. What the hell is going on? Tallahassee, explain yourself. Please avert your eyes, folks. Please. My lord, what's happening? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm naked for a very good reason. Uh, wait, um, wait a minute. That Th is... There's a good reason to be naked? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I, there's we, always not that I really need a reason. No, well, that's true. Again, just like real folks, what is the reason you're standing here, and why do we have half of Seraphim here, and why is there a soccer ball? Why is there a soccer ball in the foreground? What on earth is going on? It's been a bit of a celebration. Um, it passed very quietly, but on March 26, 2011, it was the first episode of Rift. Let's play that went up. Oh, oh, you're kidding me. No, it's been a year. So you're saying this is our year anniversary? That is correct. Woo! All right, let's give ourselves a cheer. Can you believe this, folks? This is, oh my gosh, you know what? That has completely caught me by surprise. One whole year of Let's Plays with Rift, with Tallahassee, and of course, with the Seraphim Guild, some of the crazier members of who are standing right behind us right this moment. That's very good detective work. Now, sorry, say again, what what was the date? What was the very, very first date we began doing this series? March 26. Whoa. And it's now March 28. Oh, my Lord. This is unbelievable. Well, you know what? I can't think of any better way to celebrate a year of our, oh my god, our year of our Rift Let's Play series uh, than with your fine self, of course, uh, but with these crazy Seraphim folk. Now, before before we talk to you in your big white, and look, look at these guys in the background, before we talk to your naked self, who have we got in the background here? Come on, Tallahassee, help us out. Let's read out some of these crazy folk and, and have a look at them. I'll start okay. off, we've got, what do we got, Damo over there. Damo, who is a... Yep. What's he, a level 50 mage? He's also half naked. Oh my lord. How, how, long's, yep. how long's Damo been in the guild for? God, I'm not actually too certain. Um, because I wasn't really raiding for a while. Yep. So a lot of, there's a lot of new people. Yeah, um, I think so. Lower Dogma, I'm, I don't know how long he's been with the guild for. Here we go, Lower Dubai's Dogma. has been with it since the beginning. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Rummy started just after us, so Rum Punch, this guy right there. That's uh, running around in his underpants with the, the skull helmet. <laughs> hello, um, hello Rum Punch. The bat pad we know. That pad, look, he's uh, in his... He's been around quite a lot. And he's been around in his underwear quite a lot as well, by the way. Oh boy, you know what, we're probably... We're probably scaring off any potential Seraphim League members. Look at these crazy guys. What about Sim? Yep. Sim over the background there? Um, Sim is new as well. I haven't had much to do with him. Oh, there but... you go. Um, he's one of the raiders as well. He's very oh, good at what he does. Fantastic. Hi, um, Sim. Big wave to you. Who else have we got Someone that you can't see because they're just out of frame is Chessy, the half-naked dwarf. Uh, <laughs> where's, where's Chessy? Oh, there they go. There's, yep, there's Chessy. There we go. Hello, big he's, wave. Look, he's been this? blinking. You know, all these naked people. Uh, hang on, where, are we saying that if you want to be naked, what? come along and join, join Seraphim? Oh, my Lord, they're doing yeah. this. <laughs> Oh dear, this is disturbing. The bat pad, of course. Look at him in his giant self. Got all sorts of crazy shenanigans going on as always. Do you know what? I noticed when we started filming Tallahassee, there was a soccer ball down yeah. the front. What's the go with the soccer ball? And more importantly, where did it go? Um, it may have expired. Oh, okay. What's the deal with that? I've never seen a soccer ball ever in Rift. How on earth do you get one of those? Um... I'm not actually too certain where it was from. Gosh, neither am I. Well, look, hey, by the way, if any of you guys watching are one of these crazy folk here from the mental Seraphim Guild, before we started filming, I saw a few of the guys were kind of kicking it around, and it looked lots of fun. I had no idea. Look what's look at them chasing each other up a tree in they're their dueling. in their underpants. They're right. Oh my! They're dueling. Oh, they're dueling in their underpants. Are they okay? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Why not? Folks, 
I'm I'm not going to get in my underpants because, you know, I have some dignity. And, oh, speaking of dignity, look at those splits, <laughs> will you? Oh, my Lord. Oh, avert thine eyes. These guys are bonkers. You know what, folks? If you're it's watching... It's like a sexy serenade. Yeah, the sexy serenade. If you're watching and you're from the Seraphim Guild, especially if you're right here, right now, celebrating with us, firstly, a huge thanks to Seraphim, I think, Tallahassee, for putting up with you and I for the past year. Can you believe it? We haven't been kicked out of the out of the guild yet. That's a bit surprising. Not yet. Not. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Now, there's one other person that I want to mention. Um, it's Pori, who's a little dwarf there. Now, where are we? Oh, the warrior. Pori. Pori. There, we there we go. There we go. Yep. Yep. He's one of the tanks in the guild. Ah, oh, one of the tanks. There you go. G'day to you, uh, Porifius. Porifius. Gosh, some of these names are awesome but hard to say. Do you know what? I actually remember as well, Tallahassee, one of our very first instances back in the early days of our Let's Play series. Now, you're going to have to remind me of its Episode name. Episode 22. Was, yeah, was it? Was it? Um, what's the name of that Fae? Yeah, it was Realm of the Fae. That's it, right? Realm of the Fae. And we had a fantastic group, and of course I do remember that we had a dwarf, a dwarven tank, I think, and we had Dub Dubois yep. with us. Um, yeah, Dubois was the tank. Oh, oh, was oh, was it him? On his old Dubid. Oh, that's yep. right. And there was Suryat and Israel. Right there we go. As as by the way, a reindeer or something comes past the camera. <laughs> oh my God, these guys are bonkers. I Why remember not? that, and do you know what? It seems like it was only yesterday, and I remember it with great fondness. That was one of the first times we'd, well, for me anyway, that I'd ever interacted with these guys from Seraphim. And I've got to say, um, you know, whether it's our anniversary or no. These guys are pretty much one of the most amazing, friendly, funnest bunch of guys and gals that I think I've ever come across in any MMO ever. And as always, folks, if you're watching from home, check the description to this video. There is a link in there that will take you directly to the Seraphim webpage. And on there, you're able to apply for the guild. We would love to have you join us. I mean, look around. Let's step back and look around. Who wouldn't want to be a part of this? Nakedness, craziness, shenanigans. Look at Dub there. He's got more outfits than I've had hot meals, seriously. And, of course, a Tallahassee dancing the Carlton in his big white undies. Mate, you know how in real life we call you the lady killer? I think that extends into the game. Ladies, form a queue. Form a queue, I say. Queue. <laughs> Enjoy the view. Enjoy that view. Ah, oh, folks, so there you go. If you'd like to be part of Seraphim, do come along. This is what it's like to be in Seraphim. And, of course, most importantly, this is what it is like to be in Rift. So on behalf of myself, and I know you as well, Tallahassee, a huge thank you to Seraphim. And, of course, a massive thank you to Treon, who have recognized us in the past, and we're very grateful for that. Can't believe it has been one year. I'm, I couldn't be any happier, mate. I'm absolutely wrapped. You know what? I'm just really looking forward to the next year as well. God only knows what we're going to get up to in a year. And, of course, what wonderful vistas I'm going to be able to gawk at, you know. Do you reckon, speaking of the future, let's put our witchy poo hats on and uh, look into the looking glass. What do you reckon is the next big thing for Rift? Now, I'm not talking about what you've read or what you know. What would you love to see in Rift? Or what do you think is going to be the next big thing? Like, do you think we're going to have a level cap um, increase? Um, are they going to open up a new zone? Is there going to be a new class? What's the next big thing for Rift well, there, Tallahassee? We're getting we're going to have to be getting close to an expansion because 1.8 is about ready to come out. Oh, yeah, good point. That's a very good point. So that must that might mean new areas, new zones, perhaps, even though there's, mm -hmm. there's tons of them already. And in fact, speaking of which, I mean, we're still in this one. We're still in the Moonshade Highlands. Yes, we're here with a bunch of crazies right now from Seraphim, but boy, we've got some questing to do uh, and, of course, lots and lots of content to uncover here. As we always say, Rift has so much content, it is ridiculous. But you know what? Who cares about that in a way? What it's really about here in an MMO is the folk that you play with. And these guys here, we've got Sim, we've got Debat Pad, we've got Lower Dogma, we've got Perifius, we've got Chizzy, we've got Rum Punch, we've got Dubois. Um, oh my lord, there's a whole bunch of them. And Damo there as well. And where's the rest of them gone? They're all off probably doing all sorts of crazy shenanigans. These guys are what really make it. And uh, again, thank you guys for having us. 
All right, well, I think we should wind down our crazy celebration so we can return the little town of Three Springs to normal. They won't know what's hit them, of course, and we're going to have to be explaining this to the local mayor for the next month, probably. What on earth's going on with all this nakedness, I can hear him say. So we'll wind this down, and then we'll come back with some questing. But once again, thank you guys for turning up, and Tallahassee, happy anniversary, mate. Thank you. Let's give these and guys... happy anniversary to you too, sweetheart. Yeah, thanks, love. Let's give these guys one huge bow. We'll say thank you. Thank you to them. And there we go. All right, folks, stick with us. We'll be right back as we try and tame these guys from Seraphim. Don't go away. And we're back. Oh, gosh, Tallahassee. I don't know if the town survived that. They're gone now. I think it's safe. Whew, I think it's safe for us. To get some questing happening. Now, speaking of that, let's have a look on our map. Oh, look at that. Tallahassee has popped a marker on the map for us. So we're heading up north. Tallahassee, this looks like it'll be an area new to us. Looks like we might actually be able to uncover some of that grey area on the map. I'm following you, kind sir. Let's head straight there, I guess. Let's not waste waste any time. Let's do it. This is exciting, actually, because we've been questing in this particular area for a very long time. And by the way, that's not not saying anything bad it's just there's been so much content here uh, it's actually going to be quite cool to head to a new area well i presume we're going to going to be heading up a bit further north do you do you know we will be moving along a little bit further but it's still going to be sort of same area right right we're going to be here a while yeah i just i still can't get my head around the fact that this zone is so huge almost you know what almost to the point that i can't get my head around the fact that we've been doing this for a year. I, it, I don't know. I, it just seriously, it blows me away. It really blows me away. What also blows me away is the fact that we're literally surrounded by guys like that. I mean, they're just great, aren't they? I mean, what a, what a just a fun bunch of crazy guys and gals. I mean, what else could you want in a game? You know what I mean? Yeah, they're good people, aren't they? Yeah, that's such good. That's people. why it helps make a game. Yeah, it's it's like you can have the greatest game in the world, but if it's full of, well, if you excuse me, folks, you know I never swear that much, but I'm going to say something. If if it's full of assholes, then what's the point? And I'm I'm by the way going to point my finger directly at a particular game that yourself, Regina J. Lacerta, and I tried for a little bit. Can you guess what that was, kind sir? God, I can't remember. Yeah, well, that's probably how much of an impact it made. Do you remember we had a good old crack at League of Legends, right? Which... Oh, yeah. Yeah, now, y you tell me, that's not that's a good game, don't you think? It's a great game. I think so. Like, the, the actual game itself. It's got great dynamics, great balance. Um, it's 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 got its eSports side. It's exciting. It's casual or hardcore. And, of course, what's it ruined by, Tallahassee? Go on, you have one guess. The community. Yeah, exactly. So it backs up what you were just saying before. You know, if, if the community is crap, then your game's worth nothing to me anyway. Anyhow, there we go. Thomas Pentis. Hello. Let's see what he's got to say. Hello there, Seraphis and Tallahassee. Brother Jabaya must think very highly of you. There's much to be done here and little time to do it. Uh-oh. I think we're going to be busy. Burn tainted potatoes. Boil them, mash them, put them in a stew, perhaps. Stick them. Stick him in, in a stew. stew yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got it wrong. Thank you. You're right. Stick him in a stew. <laughs> uh, and plant new crops. Ah, oh, oh, tell us. You know I like cooking in games. So here we go. This is definitely for me. Um, there we That's go. And I can see behind us we've got a bunch of quests as well. Hang on, let's have a look on the map. Yep. Do we want to pick them up as well, or do we, are we just going to do the one potato one? What do you think? Well, we'll get them all, because they'll all be in the same area, or oh, roughly the same area. Okay, all right. Oh, in fact, this one here gives retrieve us... Retrieve the baby. Yeah, retrieve the baby? Oh, boy. Hey, by the way, folks, if you're watching from home, you know what? He, Tallahassee gets that all the time. He's littered the world with, with his spawn. It's that lady killer thing again. You know, it's all we ever hear. Ah, um, all right, kill frenzied fairies as Good well. Luck. Let's have a look on our map, and yeah, look, Tallahassee was exactly right. Oh. They're all in the same area. See, I, I don't, I don't know if I can hurt you, Sambo. Uh, but, oh, <laughs> do you know what? It's funny when you mention when I read that out. I thought in the back of my head, I wonder if Tallahassee's going to have a crack and call me a fairy or something. And yes, he did. He did. You're so predictable. Of course I was going to have a shot. <laughs> uh, we don't mind. Okay, rock strewn acres. 
this is a new area folks a new area for us and you know how I am I love me some new areas very exciting and this looks like it's a farm of some sort some farmland and I'd say that over there we've got yeah there we go tubers all right let's get this cranked up so we can get our AOE happening now Tallahassee before we set up our little meeting there with the guild I did notice in guild chat that one of the guild members, I think it was a new guild member, uh, was... Oh my lord! Sorry, that there is... that That's... Boy, that's like a hundred times better than what I've got. Do you mind if I need on that? It's all yours. Oh, thanks. Look at that, folks. Armor plus 39, endurance plus 3, intelligence and wisdom up. I am taking that. Thank you very much. Where'd it go? There it is. Yep, and that is... Yep, thank you... Okay, and that's actually a nice looking robe for a change as well, even though I'm going to keep my wardrobe appearance. Okay, that has absolutely increased my stats there. Very happy about that. Gee, the first kill of the day, and I get some uh, new duds. Happy about that. Oh, and we get to pick potatoes yeah, as well. Yeah, is this all counting for you? Um, and there's an artifact here as well. Oh, is there? Oh, there is two. I thought that was a potato. I have two, two tainted potatoes burnt. What about you? Uh, I have two as well. Alright, so I guess it's counting for each other. That's good. Now, yeah, somebody in league chat before, and it flew it flew past too quick for me to notice who, they were saying, hey guys, what is a good soloing mage build? And by the way, we're also planting new crops in the fertile soil here, as well as uh, destroying these tainted potatoes. They said, yeah, what's a good solo build? And I've got to say, Tallahassee, I'm, I'm interested to sort of hear what you think. But for me, I mean, I love the Chloro. You know I love the Chloromancer build, and I always will. And I think it's a great utility build. But you know what? For soloing, for sheer sort of raw firepower, I I, I don't know. I just love me some some Pyro slash Warlock action. You know, is that, do you know if that's kind of the standard solo build for a mage? Not that there really is such a thing in Rift, because there's so many combinations of classes you can have, but um, if you're running a mage, is that what most people tend to recognise as a good soloing build, the good old pyro? Um, no, it's mainly a high-end DPS. Oh, oh. Most people tend to go with elementalists, oh, that way they have... Oh, the pet. You the know, the big dude. Yeah, the pet, so they've, yeah, got, the a, pet. they've got a tank... Basically a built-in tank, by the way. These are the uh, rock strewn. What are these? The rock strewn squatters. Yeah, the frenzied brownie. These are the ones that we need to kill. Do you know what's funny? When, we, when it said we were looking for fairies, I didn't really expect them to be sort of dark, brooding-looking things. Do you know what I mean? I was looking for for, for pink, sparkly wings and stuff. <laughs> didn't expect that. Oh well, no, it's, they look like this. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. There's those. Yeah. But you know what, the other th that's the other thing, of course, bringing attention to Rift there, is the fantastic and unique design of all of their characters. I mean, let's face it, there are a lot of MMOs out there, and generally speaking, you know, a fairy looks like a fairy, just like it looks like in any other game. Whereas with these guys, what they've done, my god, what is that? That's the baby basket! Are we literally stealing a baby? Yep. That's disturbing! Yep. Okay, I'm, I've yet to retrieve it, so hopefully, there we go, comes back. But yeah, look, we used to say this, speaking of our anniversary, we used to say this like a year ago when we first started playing Rift. Remember when we, we like looked at the dragons and we used to comment about how, about how unique they were? And that was way back at the, at the beginning starter area of the game, before you get into the real world. We used to comment about how awesome and unique the design of the dragons was. I, you know what, that's carried on right throughout the game. This game is very unique. It does not, the creatures do not look like any other game. They have the the echoes of a creature so in other words you know you can look at these and go oh it's a fairy well that's what happens to me anyway I, I, I acknowledge that it's a fairy but it doesn't look like a fairy out of any other or rather every other game do you, do you think that's held true no it, right through yeah no that's very true that's very true I think it's they a real, have made it look very unique yeah and it's a feather in their cap for goodness sake because it'd be so hard you know we've got years and years and years of all of these tropes telling us what a fairy should look like what a what a you know mythical creature should look like and again these guys at Triant have gone ahead and put their own spin on it which at the end of the day means it's more exciting and interesting for us as players and I'm all for that now 
I mean, I, yeah. I hate to say it, I mean, it is a standard RPG fantasy, fantasy setting. But it it's is. just a little bit off, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. not quite what you expect it's going to look like. Do you know what? That's a great way of putting it. I would say... Yeah, actually, I'm going to... Yeah, here we go. If someone said, okay, what's Rift like in terms of its feel, look and feel and style? I think you've really coined the phrase there. It's 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 AAA quality, number one, by the way, and that's a very, very, very nice ring there. That's for me, isn't it? And that is yours. Yeah, wisdom yep. and intelligence. Thanks. It's been certainly been my day today. Um, it's it's AAA quality, but it is left of centre, isn't it? It's it's an off centre sort of quirky take on these, like we say, these tropes, these fantasy tropes that have existed for decades. And let's face it, probably thanks to people like J.R. Tolkien and, and things like that, these guys have taken it and probably sat down and gone, how can we make this not like everything else that's come before? And, well, that, that's the impression I get by playing it. That's how I feel. What about you? Yeah, I mean, as I said, it, it's taken the standard sort of fantasy setting and just tweaked it a little bit. It's yeah. not like it's a huge amount of left of centre, yeah. but it's just enough. Yeah, yeah, to, it's to, just enough to make it different. Yes, it's a differentia it's differentiator, isn't it? Gosh, it's a hard word to say. Uh, finish that one up sometime. there. 3,800 and so XP. Thank you very much. And by the way, you can see we're basically uh -huh. two-thirds of the way you. through our level now, through level 38. Let's see, which one of these am I going to take? I'm going to take the one with the most green bits on it. There we are. Thank you, Kirsten Jones. And then this guy here, Thomas uh, Pentis. Thank you very much. Oh, and he's got two more quests for us. One of these is we have to pray at the altar to Barolt. And we get ourselves a nice ring. Gee, I must say these quests are really sort of gearing us up, aren't they? It's like the like another phase of gear that they're handing out to us. I like that. Collect Hazel Futz yep, don't amulet. To talk to this guy as well. Okay, uh, the Queen's tiara and Kurgeon's axe. All right. And who? Oh, there you go, Joseph Holden. Are you ready? Hello, tall stuff. Ghosts of the past. Speak to General Stanig in the Faring Woods. Now, the Faring Woods, Tallahassee, that's definitely a new zone. I haven't heard of that before, so good stuff. And rescue uh -huh. sacrificial prisoners. Zero out of four. Let's open up our map, folks, and have a look. And, okay, so all of this stuff is sending us down to the southwest. That's pretty cool. And I see we've got a hand in... I'm just going to mark it, Tallahassee, there on the map. I notice we've got a couple of minutes left in our episode. Probably just enough for us to run our way down there, if you don't mind, so we can set ourselves up for next week's episode. What do you reckon? Certainly, but you're going to need to talk to oh. Mr. Green. Oh, hello. Good hello, Eustace. You. Kill deranged fairies and kill ghostly horrors. Hang Thank on, let's have a look and see where they are. Oh, they're in the same zone as well. Okay, so we've just got ourselves, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six odd quests. Oh my lord. Again, there is no dearth of content in this game. What do you, do you know what it's like, Tallahassee? A new MMO comes out. Now, I'm not gonna mention any any MMOs because this is a fairly general, generic statement and I think it's true of most new MMOs. You play the early stages, and the opening levels 1 through 10 are amazing and you get absorbed in it and they're very interactive there's it's you know crammed with content then you get to level 10 to 20 and it's okay a lot of fetch quests and you know just sort of a lot of sameness and then post level 20 it's like okay now you have to grind for faction or now you have to grind for tokens or badges or something and the content kind of dries up that, to me, is basically my experience with most new MMOs. What, do you, what about you? I'd say that's a fairly good description of what happens most of the time. Yeah, I mean, and let's face it, let's, let's try and think of why that is. I think it's a couple of reasons. One, they've probably forced the release date. Two, there'll be budget constrictions, which of course there are going to be on any game. But more often than not, it's probably some kind of... There's probably a greed going on somewhere where there's somebody pushing the fact that it needs to get out even though there's no content. Don't worry about it. The players won't notice. Rady, rady, ra. These guys here at Trion, I get the feeling that they wouldn't stand for that. That they basically, they'll be, they'll have obligations to their shareholders, 
uh, to the board, to the managers of the company and all the rest of it. But I'd say that they will either be in the position where they're pushing back or where they have the support of the upper management team to say, no, no, make sure this goes out uh, you know, at a, a good uh, clip of quality and with a good amount of content or else it'll hurt us in the long run. That's the feeling I've got from the release of Rift anyway. Uh, and it certainly comes across from the, the interaction that we see from Trion to their fans as well. Now, where are we? What are we doing? Do we have to kill these guys, do we? Well, I think up here we need to get an axe. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, you're right. There's a, a spot on the map there. And, in fact, look at that. We're running out of time yet again. Maybe we'll grab this axe and this will set, set us up for our next episode when we come back next week and finish things off. Probably a good place to park up. Well, not specifically right here. Well, no, no. This general area. Preferably with less monsters. Oh, collect Kurgan's axe. Look at that. Oh, and Tallahassee. Tallahassee has friends. Now, speaking of friends, mate, by the way, we do actually have one shout out tonight as well, which we'll quickly read through. And that mm -hmm. is from, where are we? Here we go. This is from Killing X Variety. And they say, hey, guys, I love your Let's Plays a lot. Keep up the amazing work. And I'd really love it if I could hopefully get a shout out as well in a future episode. And that's from Killing X Variety. Well, a big shout out to you, mate. And thank you very much for your support, especially, of course, on this, which is our one year anniversary. I still tell Ahasi, you know what? I'm a little bit choked up. I can't believe it's been a year. I really, really honestly can't. Like, it doesn't seem that long. And I can't believe how lucky we've been with all the support that we've got uh, from not only our wonderful fellow Seraphim Guild members, but also from our viewers who have stuck with us. Seriously, we've got folks in our subscribership who have been with us since day one and they are still here. Can you believe that, mate? Seriously. I know, those poor bastards. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely one way of looking at it. Uh, but, of course, the other uh, the other way is that we do obviously appreciate it very much. So there we go, folks. We've come to a close on our one-year anniversary episode celebrating with Seraphim the bonkers crazy guild here on the Lathis server. Go on, folks. Get along to um, come along here, rather, and join us, won't you? There's a link in the description below this video, and you've got nothing to lose, especially if you've never played Rift before. Of course, Tallahassee, as you know, We've got the level 20, up to level 20 free-to-play version of Rift. Actually, Tallahassee, do you know if there's a time limit on that? Or is it just you can play as long as you like, as long as you don't go, go past play level 20? as long 20? as you like. Yeah, there you go. So you've got no it's excuse. It's actually like a hard cap at 20. There you go. So you know what? You could say, I'm going to play classic and cap myself at 20. Come along, join the fun, and never have to pay a red cent. Although... I don't know. What do you think, Tallahassee? I'm sure once people get into this game, they're going to want to throw their money at Trion. That's certainly how I feel. I certainly feel good about uh, having a subscription and funding future development because this is a, a fantastic game. Anyhow, that's it from us, folks. Thank you as well for sticking with us through thick and thin for the past year. And, of course, we certainly hope you'll be with us in a year's time as well. In the meantime, on behalf of myself, Sambo, Seraphis, Tallahassee, the normally naked can't believe it, mate. It's been a long time since we've seen your nipple, so thank you for that. <laughs> Did it feel liberating? You're welcome. Uh, well, the armour does chafe a little bit. <laughs> oh, folks, some things never change. Some days it's a bit cold. On behalf of Mr Nipples here, it's us saying take care. Certainly hope you're having a great day wherever in the world you are. We do look forward to seeing you next time. We shall see you then, and bye-bye. <laughs>